You are welcome to this section of our project. In this video, we'll be building a Docker image, all right? So first of all, I would like to create a directory for our project. So and that is it. I will change directory to the project folder. Press enter. Okay. So in this folder, I'll be creating a Docker file and we actually have the Docker file already. So I'll copy it over and I'm going to show you. I'm going to explain the steps so you don't have to worry. So I will type first of all Docker file to open Docker file in a test editor. Please, when you're naming your Docker file, ensure that the D is in capital letter. Okay. So if I press enter, I'm now in my test editor. So I'll copy my Docker file over right now and I'm going to explain what it contains. My Docker file is here, so I'll go ahead and paste it. Great. Okay. So to explain this Docker file, actually the first one, this from command is the, um, it's to make use of the official CentOS image from Docker Hub. So it's going to be pulling this CentOS image for us. So as you know, in your Docker file, you need to have a base image first before you start building your, before other instructions actually. Okay. So in the second command, which is run, we'll install the Apache, that is the HTTPD server. All right. So when you see HTTPD is same as Apache web server. So we'll install the Apache HTTP server package from CentOS repository. And in this copy command, it is actually to copy the index.html file, which we'll be creating um, soon after this Docker file. So we'll copy it over to the default root directory in our container. Okay. So this is for the host and this is, is the default root directory in our container. And then the CMD command actually is the command to is the command actually that will run when our container starts. Okay. So it will start the HTTP server in the foreground. So the next command is to expose port 80, which will actually allow incoming HTTP traffic to the container. So this is all about our Docker file. It is a very simple Docker file and I believe you understand my explanation. So I'll go ahead and save this Docker file. and exit the terminal. Great. Having created this and saved it, the next thing is to create our index.html file. So I'll type vim index.html, press enter. And now I'm going to copy my index.html file over to this place. All right. So I'll go ahead and paste my code. Okay, so this, this is the simple web application we'll be deploying. So that is it for this. All I need to do is to save it. So now we'll be building our Docker image. If I type ls, as you can see, we have this Docker file and index.html file in the project folder. So all I need to do right now is to run docker build command docker build and then dash t which is to tag our image i will name it um project image whatever i want okay and then after typing the name of my image i'll just give one space and type dots okay so do it this way so that it can you know make use of the files you have in your project folder so i'll press enter Okay, so there is a mistake somewhere. Let me scroll up and see. Docker build. Oh, actually, this should be Docker build, not Docker builds. All right. Let me clear my screen. Now, correct this. Press enter. And you can see it has started pulling CentOS image and then extracting it.
okay so this should not really take time I'm gonna wait for it and awesome okay so our image has been built successfully let's verify docker images press enter and as you can see we have our image here so let me clear my screen all right the next thing is to run docker run command run this command which is docker run dash d to run in detach mode and then dash p will be mapping uh the mapping should be um i'll be using um port 8080 and then the name of my container is um i would like to name it project container all right and the name of my image is i guess project image all right so i'll press enter and my container has been created so if i run docker ps this is my container and the container id is here the project the image is here the command we run in the that is cmd command right and then yeah so this is the port and the details about my container so the next thing i'll do now is to check this um web application actually we'll try to assess it on the browser and see if that is up and running so let me copy my public ip address okay i'll copy this ip address go to the browser paste it great you can see my application is up and running so we've successfully containerized our application but this is not really our goal for this project okay so in my next project we'll go over to creating ecr repo that is elastic container registry repository that can help us to store this image and because after building image you actually need to push it to ecr okay so i'll see you in my next video where i'll be guiding you on how to create ecr repository in aws and we'll give the required permission thank you so much i'll see you in my next video bye